What's up you guys? It's your boy the Kryptonian Saiyan bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 193 and I'm going to say this right here, okay? I'm going to say this and I'll try to get my little accent going on for a little bit. But I'm going to say this here. I did enjoy the fact that Oda focused more on plot progression than character development. This was nice to see. I will say that reading Nami's fight in that one third of the chapter that's in there, I could have done without that, okay? I really feel like Nami's fight lasted a little longer than it should have. The ending, I can appreciate the ending because of the huge build up. You know, Usopp and Nami, that character dynamic between the two of them, that's gonna be really fun to read going forward. But I could have done without a lot of the way that Nami's fight ended. And it's not because I don't like the characters. A lot of you guys know Nami's one of my favorite characters in One Piece at this moment. But I'm calling bullshit on two parts with Nami's fight. The first part is Nami got stabbed in the calf muscle. She has not shown to be this extraordinary human or anything like that, okay? But when you get stabbed in the calf, there's no way you should be able to plant your foot up against Miss uh, Double Finger and then plant your other foot behind you and hold her off. That's bullshit. Like, literally, that's bullshit. She might have a very high pain tolerance. And I could see that because she was planning on digging out her tattoo, uh, Arlong's uh, tattoo on her. So I could see that. But at the same time, I'm putting this right here with what happened in San Andreas. Spoiler alert. But in San Andreas, the boyfriend for The Rock's daughter in that movie... He gets glass, glass drops down into his leg, barely misses an artery, and he's walking around on that shit like it's nothing. There's uh, a tsunami that takes place, water gets into the fucking uh, skyscraper they're in, and he's moving around like it ain't shit. That was bullshit. I don't care how high your pain tolerance is, and uh, I don't care about none of that shit, okay? Like, that's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on Nami's thing. I'm also calling bullshit on just just on that ending it was a very nice payoff don't get me wrong i don't mind the way that it ended it's just that it just really seems like this was kind of put I, I feel like this could have been done a different way i'm not sure how you do it but i'm happy with it but i'm not happy with it that makes sense the next thing that I do want to you know, kind of touch on is, again, plot progression. I know I've kind of changed the style for these reviews. I usually do a recap and then just kind of touch on different things. I want to focus more on, again, character, develop, character development, plot development, uh, progression, you know, characterization, that type of stuff. I want to setting that stuff. I want to change this up a little bit. So going into just the plot progression, I like this. When I was reading how Crocodile was talking to Vivi's father and explaining why he wants the Pluton and saying like, hey, I know that the world government won't allow this, but that's why I'm building a bigger army. That's why I need this. This was cool. I like Crocodile's quickly becoming one of my favorite One Piece villains, simply for the fact that he has the balls to not only do his own thing, but then stand against the people who are enabling him and allowing him to do his thing as one of the seven warlords of the sea. So just seeing that, that was interesting to me, just to see that he's once again rebelling, and Oda, in a very subtle way, is touching on the fact that absolute power corrupts. You know, there's never enough. People who long for power they never they're never satisfied you know so just seeing that that was really nice i like how vivi's father eventually changes his tune and says hey if i take you to it will you and it's broken off it's implied that you know he's talking about i guess spare vivi but i like how crocodile at the same time because he know he has all the leverage what crocodile does is is he punches vivi right in the gut symbolically because he says well i have a cannon that's getting ready to fire in 20 minutes those rebels to get here you wanted to end the revolution didn't you well in 30 minutes that damn cannon's going off and everything in a five kilometer radius is going to be taken care of i love that i love that and this is a lesson for a lot of my younger viewers okay this is the thing you have to understand. And why the fuck am I saying young reviewers? Because, like, I know I've got, like, the 14 through uh, 18 demographic. But I got a lot of you guys that 
are, which is very surprising, who are closer in my age, you're in your 20s. But this is what I found very, very interesting, okay? Reading that, Oda is teaching you that life isn't about getting what you deserve. Life does not work that way. The way life works is you get what you are in the position to negotiate. You get whatever your leverage allows you, allows you to get. And that's what we see at this point. Is Crocodile holds all the cards. There's no one who can stop him at this point. Luffy is somewhere in the desert eating some meat from Pell, okay? Like he's eating Pell's meat. <laughs> Oh, I gotta edit that shit out. But, like, Luffy's recovering, okay? And Straw Hat crew, for the most part, those motherfuckers are in shambles. Like, Zoro, that's the only one who I think might be able to come through this fight unscathed. Because as he's fighting Mr. One, okay? You know, they had this nice little sequence of Zoro clashing uh, swords against his body. And Zoro says, okay, so I can't defeat you if I can't uh, cut metal, right? And that's how the chapter ends off. And the way that Zoro says it, if I can't cut metal yet, implies that Zoro is about to unleash his full strength. And this is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to see Zoro go all out. Because again, when you look at Zoro in the East Blue, I really feel like he didn't, didn't go all out. And then when he fought against Mihawk, the problem with that is, is he was so outclassed to use a Dragon Ball type reference. Zoro versus Mihawk was literally like watching Goku try to fight Raditz, okay? Only this is Goku without the weighted, uh, weighted training taken off, okay? Not the weighted training, the weighted clothing taken off, okay? Like, it's such a huge gap. Raditz was toying with him the same way that Mihawk was toying with Zoro. So, I'm looking forward to see this because all along Park, I thought maybe Zoro would kind of go all out. But then when you see that he's able to drop these fucking sharks, okay, who are 20 times stronger than humans. The fact that he's able to drop them, no problem. And he was having fun more than anything else when he was fighting Hachin. Fuck that shit, okay? Like this, you know Zoro's going all out on this. And this, was, this is great because... This is the grand line. We've seen Luffy go up against someone and get his ass handed to him, but we've also seen Luffy take out some of the, I wouldn't say notable people on the grand line, because obviously we're still at the doorstep of the grand line. Like, we haven't even really got deep into this shit. You got fucking people like Shanks out there who, again, when you get, when Luffy's looking up your ass and Luffy's a little powerhouse, I know Shanks has something else to him, but you got more guys like Mihawk out there. Like, we haven't even gotten deep in the Grand Line. So, I think this is going to be Zoro getting his first real victory on the Grand Line. I would hate to see him get one-shotted. So, my expectations are really high going forward. My chapter question for you guys, I'm going to ask this, okay? Were you like me? Were you disappointed with Nami's fight? Or particularly with the ending? Or when you read this chapter, saw it in the anime, were you more focused on Crocodile? Or were you more focused on... Zoro's fight let me know in I guess let me know in order you know rank them but as always